Hello and welcome back to another episode of Legendary Iron Man um, Co-op War of the Chosen together with my good friend Chris. Um, we have so far tech teamed uh, the very first mission and it was an interesting experience to remind everyone about the rules real quick before we jump into Operation Half Dead Altar. Uh, whilst we are on the mission... Chris is uh, controlling half of the SWAT. He is uh, not hearing what I'm saying, but I can very much hear his uh, thought process. And he will uh, always uh, try to move uh, first with uh, his operatives, and then I'll try to salvage whatever comes up. Today's mission is um, the Stranded Resistant Agent Rescue. Um, if we do our, if we play our cards right, we're going to get a scientist, AT Intel, and a sharpshooter. So excellent rewards uh, from this mission. Um, any famous last words from your side, uh, Chris, before we um, dive into the uh, br briefing screen? The amount of rewards are very suspicious. <laughs> so I'm curious to see what it throws at us. Good. And I'm um, happy to see that the energy seems to be back uh, to reasonable levels on all the characters. Yes, um, for your info, uh, two of our characters are tired. If we were to take them onto the mission, um, that would actually cause them to become um, uh, to become wounded, which we do not want. So, uh, how did you spot that, by the way? Because like, it had the... it had slotted in two rookies, and if all of the characters would be there, it would always slot the four best characters. Let's get, um, oh. I'll uh, pause the recording real quick and let's get everything sorted out. All right, and we are back. So we did some color coding, put uh, two rookies in here. Edgar Alien Poe is joining us and Zirkim is going to join us. Uh, Edgar is going to rock the medkit and uh, the improved assault rifle from the DLC. Everyone else just rocks grenades. And yeah, it's um, Roby and Edgar Alien Poe on Chris's side. I'll take care of Zirkim and Hawkbite. And that's pretty much um, all there is to say. We now need to dive into the mission. Um, a good outcome would be to actually get all of the rewards. Um, to remind ourselves, Chris, as an info, um, both the sharpshooter and uh, the, the um, engineer are actual VIPs in the map. So you don't, probably don't know the mission type. Um, you need to go uh, next to um, either of them in order to quote unquote free them up. They are then going to join you and we need to get them to the extraction zo uh, zone. That's, a, that's as much as I will spoil. The rest from here on is with me being on mute. Let's jump into the mission. All right, and we're back. So I'm on mute. Chris can no longer hear me. And uh, well, he got a very small mission briefing. Someone's unconscious already. And the VIP is using a remote turret to hold off the lost. We only have one clear access point to the area. So get to the target's location and escort them back to the entry point for extraction. The whole place is overrun with lost. Don't bother trying to outgun them. After you secure the expedition, you'll have to return to our original entry point for extraction. I can't actually affect anything, I'm assuming that's because of the briefing. Back to firebrand clear. Good. So it's Chris's turn. Let's One see second. what he comes up with. As I try to fix this. Orders confirmed. Moving out. Wow. <laughs> okay. At least now that now stuff is working. So uh, yeah. At least it was indeed my own guy. So we're just gonna move him here. For now, expedition in danger. Great. Turns until ammunition runs out. And I was planning. To wait as long as possible for this. Okay. Um, guess we'll have to go pretty far, so just gonna go up to the Is that is that Aiden? Yeah. Alright. Well um, we're gonna go here and then I'll just retreat if I already spot anything. Frank. So much for that. Can't fire either, so. Oh, watch it is for now. Alright. 
So good position would be up here. Unfortunately, that's no longer possible. We do have an overwatch cover, which is great. And Zia can, can start to unload. There we go. Getting some focus. And let's put ourselves in parry stance. Good. All right. Now to make up for lost time, obviously the best idea is to just charge ahead. Chris doesn't know the enemies yet, uh, which is going to be it's interesting. Yet. That's not my guy. There we go. Um, we're already kind of committed on this side. And it looks like we should be able to go through here to get to them. So let's move to over here for now. And then I'm going to hand over to Saiken so you can actually move ahead a little bit since I'm very far back. There we go, a couple more loss. Good, let's see if we can actually kill one more. I'll head over back to him. Let's see if he understands. I can't exactly reach anything. I don't believe my favorite. Oh, I haven't told him about the grenades. Either. Um, as so you guys know. I believe, considering the turns, you can't really see how far they can move. I haven't seen any of them run so far. So for the moment, I'll just catch up with him. No, I'll put him in Overwatch, and then I'll catch up with the other guy. Since he's like really freaking far back, um, Chris just doesn't want to do a mistake. Don't yeah, really which is want fine. to pass by the building here. I feel like I might just add additional shit. It's a clever so idea. Go he would me. not, but it's a good thinking process. Well, we're not having enough movement uh, rate as is, so we are going to position ourselves a tiny bit uh, further back. And now the loss will uh, move on to our position. There you go. Roby just got his promotion, which is absolutely fantastic. Okay, the answer was they moved pretty fucking far, but not unreasonably so. So, what I can learn from... Him just standing out in the open as cover is really irrelevant when the enemy is all melee. Um, and considering they are all at 3 health, I am very tempted to just blow him up. <laughs> He's and, going to uh, learn the hard way, but that is not enemies. a smart idea. But then again, ammo is free. Oh, so that's a it good might idea. simply be better to take shots. Okay. This guy. We have only these guys on the map, so I'll just keep going. Unfortunate. Yeah, Chris, and keep on going. We'll do the same with Mr. Poe here. He's actually playing that very well. Very nice. Um, I would like to keep catching up. Still, 
bit worried about the timer up here, top right, two rounds, doesn't look like a lot. So, don't go too far, like here. And then, leave the rest to Psyche. I'll fill up uh, the focus. And there we go, perfect timing to pull four additional loss. Five. Zirkim moves up. And let's see whether or not we can actually get a couple of them down. Eh, pretty decent. And we are moving back. Oh, he's probably thinking that the turret uh, will be a big yeah, problem. Yeah, uh, hammer doesn't look too good. <laughs> yep, he definitely thinks that. Let's move the pal in the back here first. Oh, don't do that. We have no ammo. Yeah, reload and just so, shoot. Let's do this. Skip the move part. And instead reload and shoot. Very nice. Good play. Okay, he had something. 74 next. And we just hope that we can uh, play the numbers. Awesome. Look yeah, at that. Completely out of ammo again. Let's not move you yet. Let's first have a look with him. Absolutely nothing. So I am extremely tempted to just charge ahead, but I'll uh, let you catch up. Since we know there were no enemies really, we can still reload next turn if we, if you need to shoot. And I leave to Saikim to move up. Good. Let's take a look. Uh, Chris has moved pretty well. We got to get into that circle here before the timer runs out. Or oh, let's put it that way. If the timer runs out, uh, losts are going to start charging in. Which means we're doing a couple of double moves here. Looks like we have free rain. I'm curious to see what happens at zero. Well, we are going to see that soon. He still can't hear me, uh, which is fantastic, because now a massive swarm of loss just appeared. And even more. That looks different. Yep. We All right. The turret just ran dry of ammo. They've got nothing to hold back the loss now. Menace one yep. five, get to their position on the double. As I worried, so fortunately we do have line of sight on at least two of the lost from here, so Back in. gamble paid off from earlier. Pay here or to move and then reload this turn. Oh sorry. Let me go back to my dude. There we go. What do we have? 67%. 67% both. Alright. Not exactly optimal. This doesn't help us either. And we can't really move. Well, time to take a chance. We'll go for this one first. 
Since if he does it, we have a guaranteed follow-up shot. Still no enemies that could be ranged attacking, so just moving as far as possible is one tempting option. No, oh, they're over here. Yeah, too far away for my favorite grenade launcher, so we're just gonna play the odds again. And get rewarded for it. And then we are going to catch up to... Oh, he has not realized that there are a lot of loss. You should be fine. We had this guy, who doesn't look like he'll go by with one hit. Um, also, we kind of need to help the guys at the turret, and that's a lot of lost. Three shots. Yeah, they're definitely getting to us into melee immediately. So, taking out as many as possible. I want to get some distance between me and this guy, so we're just gonna move as far ahead as we can to like. Oh wow! Here, straight into melee. Seems reasonable. <laughs> wow. Uh, okay. Well, he's playing it more side. aggressive than I would okay, have thought. So this is the, the furthest away it can be while I can still aim at all of them. Now, oh, fantastic. It's getting better and it better. Should be too far away. Whoops. To get all the way to us, at least. Though I don't know if they can wreck our VIP. It's a lot of targets on the map. Jesus. Okay. Um, I think the smart choice is to start with the highest hit chance. So, come on. There you go. Let's go with this guy. Ed Kalian just got his promotion. Ninety-two, seventy-nine. Yeah, this looks to be the best choice we got. Um, considering that also helps out the convoy, why not? Unfortunately. Yeah. Well, we are. Yeah. In a bit of a tough position here. It's a tough cookie. I mean, given his choices that he made, we might as well need to continue moving in. Up here would be a really nice opportunity. Perfectly up here, but both of uh, these are not available at this point. We do have two loss that are essentially just waiting there and they will come in and hit us. So ah, we're unlucky. I'll do a bit of Psych and Magic, which is moving to here. And we're now looking at Hatshot. And a Hatshot. And a Hatshot. And a headshot. And we need to get the uh, lost dasher down as well. And then we're parrying so that the lost essentially will um, only hit him. Well, tough cookie. They are going to charge on.
Let's see what Chris is coming up with. That seems awfully generous of them. I guess there's no script letting them just destroy the people we're supposed to save. Okay, I thought uh, I screwed Saiken over there and uh, we were just about to lose as they savage our uh, VIPs. Very well. Um, I think same thing I planned last round applies, which is reload and then have a look at how we can shoot everything. I like it. He's smart. Consider, consider that he really does not like, know the enemies. So first shot. Unintended. Oh. Ah, there we go. That was an interesting amount of lag. Trying to make it spicy. Um, there's no friendly fire, right? There is none. And I'm not sure why I just switch back. Take that one out. Two more shots, potentially. Second mm, so should have those over under control over there. The two ones, from what I gathered from that pistol action just now, seem to be essentially free kills. So we're not going to waste attempts on those. And so we're going to go for three. Yeah. Let's take this one out. Or not. Um, thank you. We only got one shot and then we need to reload. Or we could just throw a grenade, take out the level 2-2s two ones. But as we just discussed, I think Saiken can deal with them. But what we can do, potentially... Yeah! No, I don't think uh, his Templar is that good at dodging. Um, let's see. You gave go really low. I really would like to take out one of the lost over there. Um, he does need to reload. Quick here. question. Can I reload and still shoot? In the same turn? I think I can. I just did it. Yeah, should be fine. Let's do that. Reloaded. Yeah, it worked earlier. Good. Yep. Yeah. Otherwise, proceed as planned. Well, he's doing a pretty... risk I willingly took. Very well. Pretty damn good job overall. Good. We're moving to here. And it's time to clean up some losts. This is what I would commonly refer to as cheese. <laughs> All right, we're parrying and oh, let's get this guy. Very nice. We got. Uh, we managed through the onslaught, and we haven't even used the balcony or it anything. Looked a lot worse than it actually ended up being. So let's see. We have one shot on this guy, which still means we can uh, take a headshot. Yeah, let's move alien first. To here. Given that he has never encountered them first. There's anything more around the corner? No, there's no more timers, so I'm not too scared about that. So we're just going to stay here, take a second to reload, and then do the same with our other blue friend. Move as far as possible. Reload and recenter. Very nice. He definitely um, understood the importance of ammunition. Love it. All right, one more 
very careful turn before we free our VIP. So let's go to here. It's probably playing it a bit too careful at this point, but you never mm -hmm. can be too uh, careful. That's why we got flawless missions so far. I'm not quite sure I understand the logic between how much health each of them has. Definitely a question I need to ask later. 77% is pretty decent. Mm. Now let's just take that shot. Awesome. And then we have one more blue dude. Can we get line of sight anywhere? Doesn't look like it. So, move to here. Uh, one second. I did want to do Overwatch on him. There you go. Nice. Almost stole his thunder there. Good, copy. On Good. Moving in. Let's take a couple of shots. Yes, and we got three Overwatches. Hmm. Something tells me the best idea would probably be to wait until the swarm is done before we uh, free the hostages. But uh, we're not doing that. The VIP is secure, Commander. If we can spare the manpower, we should try to bring the escort in as well. Makes sense. So, where is our extraction zone? Where is our extraction zone? I can't tell. Over here? No. Oh, yeah, no. All the way back. Fair enough. So, go along the, along the streets. He figured it out himself. Did he need uh, uh, to unmute? Yes, we do. All right. I'm a little bit worried about the fact that there hasn't been any uh, aliens here yet, only the zombies. So, I'm just going to guess that that's a pretty safe position for her to be in. Just in case they are blocking our advance back to the uh, escape. No. We probably need uh, one round to actually pick him up. So... Yeah, the one thing that worries me is the lack of aliens uh, right now. <laughs> so... I love this moment, thinking process. I'm just gonna move him here. I don't think we have a clear line of sight, so we're just gonna set up Overwatch for this round. And with him, we probably want the same. All right, I'm sending in Sirkim, mainly to pick up the body. And then it is time for a coordinated retreat. Well, I guess I'll just stay there. Don't want to be too telling in uh, how you should approach it. The right play really is just to run and run and run at that point. So they do spawn both at the same time. Yeah, they indeed <laughs> should have waited after all. Wow, that guy has a lot of momentum. Impressive. I hope he's not charging back in. Yep. So let's 
So keep running backwards, uh, one move, take a shot, and then if it kills, use that to reload. Seems reasonable. Oh, I thought the target preview said I had a line of sight on somebody. Well, so much for that. We probably want to reload here instead of Overwatch. Just so we're not there with our pants down. Okay. Let me. Ah, yeah, the skull was grayed out. I can't see the green and the gray too good on my end. Dealing with a bit of pixelation. Um. Yeah, let's just keep moving backwards. Actually, long guy. Don't do it. It's a trap. No, nah, for miss, we're stuck. So I draw the Exactly. Go back he here. understood it. By the way, you can't and hear set me. Up just to again. It. It's a shame that you can't create a rubble or something with a grenade. And then the VIP. Just to make it extra difficult, I'll move her for the moment. Uh, let's see if uh, we're safe here. Looks, looks pretty good. Let's just chill out. I guess he'll get the uh, get the hinter now. Okay, I'm obviously moving too slowly. <laughs> I hope I'm not uh, catching that hint too late. It's a lot of zombies. In all actuality, he's doing super well for having never played War of the Chosen and only really XCOM 1. Interesting choice of Overwatch target. Sure. Um, attacks of opportunity. I do not believe they are a thing, but if they are, I will find out in a moment. Mm. Oh, we just run all the way away, and we let other people deal with it. <laughs> See? You should take yeah, the two let's, shots. Let's just run away. All right. I have given. I tricked These him. Two guys into a false sense of security. Okay, so they don't get it as opportunity, that's good to know. Um, all things considered, pathway is essentially scouted, so we're gonna move her all the way to here. And uh, yeah, I guess this is the point where we run away like a chicken. Now I have to say, two and four hit points. We could probably run one instance and then throw a grenade. I do so dearly miss blowing things up. Uh, where's the third guy? They're over here. Nah. We're running all the way. That's interesting because now I need to deal with the situation. That is bad. Easy now. He should have gone for the dashers, and now we are in a bit of a difficult situation. Can I reach both of them? No, I cannot. So we're going to Overwatch. Get the impression that didn't go in the right way in two ways. Well, I hope I might take some damage now. He does not have 
any form of uh, blade storm. The dashers unfortunately need to be picked off. But he doesn't know about them, so it is what it is. Don't commit too okay. far. Um, I think I'd like to see uh, what Saiken does with his guy that's currently surrounded first. Uh, so I can potentially blow up the rest. So I'll let you do the first move. That was an unlucky 94% miss. Okay, so the camera was a bit shaky. There we go. Good, let's see what he's going to do with his turns. Okay, I'd like to state for the record that I'm very jealous of that 100% hit chance on that pistol. So, we can just barely reach both of them from the distance we are at right now. Uh, please stop aiming at your friends. Thank you. Um, so, all things considered, I would rather just run Overwatch and then keep going. But I would like to move in such a way that we can Overwatch the guys that are looking to melee our friend and not waste it on something else, but we'll see how that turns out. You can't go all that far. No, we're gonna go here and do the same. Alrighty. VIP, go here. And another swarm appears. We're definitely being overrun at this oh, point. That seems reasonable. Well, at least they didn't hit him, but uh, the Overwatch plan certainly didn't work. <laughs> there we go. No more ammo. I think this guy at most is going to catch up to him, so reload. Oh, damn it. Back this guy. Let's see here, 78%, not very good, surprised. And we'll go for this guy first. Okay. And... This guy in front of us second. Yeah, more than down, that's good. Seems low. Interesting. Interesting. Currently trying out new ammo. No, oh, you're the wrong one. Let me get him back. Can we get another one? 46 damage. If he does hit, he's dead, so... Nope. Alright. But... 
That gives us a guaranteed kill if he takes the shot, thanks to the grazing. So we at least get that. Let's move him to here or there. Let's move him to here. Eighty-two percent. I am very happy with those chances. Enemy eliminated. All right. The pressing tab. Seventy-six, seventy. Uh, one more, and then we'll run. Awesome. Same as last words, one more and then we'll run. And run... Away? How far are we to the exit? Not very far, I think he can sprint there, so... We are gonna run away with him. And we have the VIP as well. I think we'll move the VIP at the end. I'll leave that up to you, Saiken, together with your turn. Good, so Zirikum is going to move... We are We are Oh really Unbelievable He's just barely not able to reach this guy Alright So be it we're just running out here and we'll put everyone into the evac zone. According to mission control, that was a man fencing, uh, dressing in women's clothing. <laughs> Okay, now the price question, of course, is can this guy get a reasonable distance away? I don't think there's any point in trying to shoot with him this turn. We would rather get as far away as possible. Uh, from what I saw earlier, when uh, they slapped the hell out of the Templar, it looks like you can probably take one round of hits. So, probably safest choice just to get away. Uh, what are our uh, hit chances here at this guy? 89%. 3 to 5 damage though. Chance that he will make it and then he'll be really screwed. So... Just run all the way to the exit. You have one shot left. We're gonna run to here and reload maybe. Yeah, then we can actually get to the zone next turn. See how that develops. Now we're gonna get him to safety right now. Sec. There we go. And I think that's it. No. Yeah. Good. So I'll try to cover our exit. And even more are appearing. We are so screwed. Gotta get out of here. Well, good thing about the mission is we only took a minor uh, injury. But uh, we could have done it flawless. Unfortunately, the 94% shot missed, which is pretty, pretty bad. Uh, considering my play in hindsight, if we, were ju if we had just uh, uh, bailed and would just run, that's a pretty high 
chance that we could have got it. I think that's about it. So let's just move in here. And fuck around. Farming some minor XP because he's going to be in the sick bay, and we're out. And that brings us to the end of uh, uh, this interesting mission. Took longer than expected. Killed 45 enemies, and we got mildly injured. All right, we're back right after we landed, and look at that! Everyone got a promotion. Good fucking job, uh, Chris. You held yourself very well. Unfortunately, we um, took a bit of a uh, wounding on Hogbite. Uh, let's go and um, get your guys promoted. We already talked about that you will promote Edgar Alien first, so you'll get the sniper. Exactly. We had to let the dice decide, so... No shenanigans. And it is indeed a sniper. How fascinating. Yeah, the first four promotions are always set, um, and you'll get whatever class is missing. Um, and yeah, so you got yourself a sniper, buddy. Very nice. Target enemies within other people's sight. Yeah, that makes sense. Nothing else here. And then... Nice Roby. one. You got Roby promoted. Last batting. Let's have a look. Layers of extra... Bonus point of armor, less damage from explosive attacks, or you can shred armor. Hmm. Do things live long enough for shredding armor to be relevant? That is my main worry. Yeah, we're gonna go with shredder. Passive, passive ability. Armor is nice, but I just like not to get hit, to be honest. All right. Very okay. good. Let's see what Zirkin gets. It's a random class for him. And he's a specialist. Excellent. I absolutely love that. Perfect. And we got ourselves a Hogbite. Got a medium wound. Unfortunately, not only lightly wounded. So he's out for 18 days. And he gets new ability points with every level. That is a special feature of the hero classes. Uh, normally, other characters will get individual AP by doing smart strategic maneuvers such as attacking from high ground, uh, attacking from a flanking position, attacking out of concealment. Um, so those classes here get them a bit faster, but they in return do not get a standard for free skill every every level. So essentially they are uh, AP makeup for the lack of that. So um, I will take a 33% chance for overcharge uh, uh, to generate additional focus because focus is super important for Templars. And we already got the first killer ability for him, Reaper, um, which if I would store or um, save up some points, uh, allows him to become a devastating monster and just continue killing. Um, by thinking about it, I'm toying with the idea of giving him Amplify as well and basically emptying our pool. Uh, by doing so, I, I'm not going to do that. Maybe we're using the XCOM ability points for someone else. I don't want to be greedy, um, although this here is an excellent carry character. Um, yeah, we're not going to go there. Good. So that was the level up. Uh, you got yourself a scientist, Chris? And we got another sharpshooter, by the way, Ivan Petrov. Uh, so let's very shortly check the barracks because I think, and it's, it's your turn to check that, I think we do have that extra uh, sniper ready. Do you want to take control over that extra sniper as well? Um, good question. We have an even amount of uh, soldiers, so you can take Yeah, why not? Room. You get the rookies, I get the, the sniper. All right. <laughs> All right, uh, power looks to be fine. Um, I don't seem to recall. You don't need to do anything. Passive, or do I yeah, it's passive. Them? It's passive. You don't need to specifically do anything. All right, All right. that's awesome. Okay. So, looking at the event queue, we're still working on the research. We still have the debris going with our engineer. Uh, we're currently on the supply drop. There's not really any other uh, missions on the map right now. 
Um, really quick to the barracks. Maybe we should take care of the uh, of the color scheme real quick. Oh, we can do that right before the mission. Don't worry. All right. Let's get out of here. Uh, yeah. In that case, that's just about it. I don't think there's anything else in the base right now. Until we reach the... Uh... Oh, another scientist. Let's quickly have a look. We were working on supply drop. No, the supply drop happens automatically, um, just for your info. We don't We don't need to we work We went on to that. the mission, right? Mm. All right. So we can get a scientist, or we can finish the rookies that we were working on. I see. Um, long term, I would say scientist would be my favorite choice, and then we can immediately go into the supply drop afterwards. So let's do that. Very nice, we're getting ourselves a second scientist. Speed up that research, baby. Indeed. Um, we can't really build anything there yet. I think we can. Uh, just double check it, uh, just for your info. You have 150 supplies and enough um, enough uh, energy. So you should be uh, capable ah, of building something. You're right, 167. Fair enough, fair enough. It doesn't give us a lot. Uh, additional skills and benefits, as well as more soldiers on a mission. More soldiers is always nice. More people that can die. Um, <laughs> why is one of the, uh, the energy costs yellow? Uh, yeah, uh, the uh, the other one, the power relay, gives you oh, free yeah, energy. Oh yeah, you you give. Mm, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, stupid question. Um, well, let's let's build this. This is the only option we really have. And keep in mind, you still have an uh, engineer. Just don't forget that. You either can speed up Indeed. the guerrilla tactics school or get um, uh, the alien debrief uh, cleared out. I feel like I am more interested in excavating some. Okay. So let's do that. I like supplies. Well, thanks for... Oops. Yeah, you always see it on the bottom left uh, as well. If there is a red little symbol, it says um, uh, "Idle Engineers." The game kind of gives you that hint. There you go. That's the excavation of um, of the alien officer. You now have proving ground, um, which I mentioned is uh, the uh, building that allows you once you build it that allows you to basically tinker. Um, specific items such as grenades, spe special armor, and so on. And for the storyline, you also need that building in order to build the school check. Which is an item just to progress the storyline. We've updated our objectives based on the latest findings. The Advent Captain seems to provide a means of stabilizing the link between the local subordinates. Um, I think we want armor next. And probably. Uh, can you remind me again what the sector autopsy did? Yeah, if you uh, if you would research that, it will unlock mind shields uh, that you can uh, that you can build, and mind shields make you immune to any mind effects, panic, um, and all of uh, all of the special ability of the chosen. Ah, we don't need that. What did the trooper do? Uh, trooper gives you access to um, vests uh, that uh, provide extra hit points. Oh, I thought that was the uh, hybrid materials. Uh, the vests from the trooper are a little bit stronger. Hmm. Sounds good. Knowing that Let's do that. Surgical experience. It will, however, just uh, for your info, it will, however, take up the slot um, of the grenade. So it's either or. Yeah, yeah. Um, there are also vests that give you an additional slot, right? Uh, that is armor. So if you go and change research, um, you should. Uh, um, uh, that would be power armor, and power armor is a follow-up of hybrid materials. So that would well, actually be the armor upgrade. That's going to be the next thing then. Okay. From my own experience. Okay, it's just a bit slow in loading. Um, very nice. So far, so good. We're getting good. at it, boys. Indeed. 
Yeah. I like our timing. Everything happens roughly on the same day. Yeah. I knew that that was coming, which is why I'm smiling. Our pleasure, Den Mother. Enjoy it while it lasts. We plan to. Our water purification. Massive signal coming from the Advent Network Tower. It's global. Sir, I think you want to see this. Mm, I don't like running into a mission right now. <laughs> uh, a certain carry character is currently wounded. <laughs> well, we got a retaliation mission at our hands, guys. So, um, at the end of every ignore it. <laughs> every first month, um, it's time for a retaliation mission. Those are a little bit more uh, pr uh, peculiar. Uh, they are difficult missions. We can't let the um, can't let uh, the um, resistance operatives die. But we'll come to that in the next mission. If you enjoyed the content, if you like the co-op nature, um, just leave a like and a comment down below. I would truly appreciate if you subscribe to the channel. And um, if you want to see more of those co-op missions, please also say that in the comment. Thanks and have a great day.